let's take a look at an application problem that involves parallel lines. During a race, all members of a rowing team should keep the oars parallel on each side. Suppose a pair of corresponding angles measure 3x plus 13 degrees and 4x minus 6 degrees, where x equals 19. We're to show that the oars are parallel. Well, I have a really neat picture that we can look to see actually what's going on in this problem. We have a rowing boat, and each team, the rowing team, they need to keep the oar, oars parallel. Now, in this case, let's suppose this angle, let's call this angle 1. Let's say this angle, angle 1, the measure of this angle, is equal to 3x plus 13. And this, let's call this angle, angle 2. Well, the measure of this angle, angle 2, is equal to 4x minus 6. We're being asked to show that these roars, oars, sorry about that, these oars are parallel. Well, you know what I notice? That 1 and 2 are what? Corresponding angles. Well, remember the converse theorem which says if corresponding angles are congruent, then the lines are parallel. So if we can show that these corresponding angles are congruent, then we can say that these oars are parallel. Let's look to see if we can do that. Angle 1, the measure of angle 1 is equal to 3x plus 13 degrees. And the measure of angle 2 was equal to 4x minus 6 degrees. Okay. Well, they gave us uh, a value for x. They're saying where x is equal to 19. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to substitute in place of x, 19, and simplify that. And what do I get? 3 times 19 is 57, plus 13 that's 70 degrees. Let's look at this one. We're going to substitute in place of x, 19, minus 6. Well, 4 times 19 is that's 76, minus 6. That's also equal to 70 degrees. And recall that angle 1 and angle 2, those were corresponding angles. So since they're both equal to 70 degrees by the transitive property of equality, I can say that angle, the measure of angle 1 is equal to the measure of angle 2, transitive property of equality. Well, if the measures of those two angles are equal, I can now say using the, the definition of congruent angle, angle 1 is congruent to angle 2. That's the definition of congruent angle. 1 and 2 are congruent, what can I now say? That those two oars are parallel. And that's what we were trying to, to show, that the oars were parallel.